right, you need to. It's Wolf Mill Development. This is my 322nd weekly update. Last week I did a lot of chatting. This week I don't want to chat too much because I'm honestly I'm pretty tired. And uh, not a lot to talk about because everything actually went pretty damn well this week. Uh, we got a new piece of equipment in at the gym. It is a bear squat machine, which if you don't know what that is, just look it up. The way I describe it is basically take everything wrong with a hack squat. And there's not a whole lot wrong with a hack squat. And that's the problem, making blanket terms like that, like wrong and right. Because um, it really depends, unfortunately, with a lot of stuff. But, take everything that's wrong with a hack squat, fix it, and that's what a bear squat is. <clears throat> and uh, it's a really versatile piece of equipment. It's good for pressing, uh, well, it's decent for pressing events. It's good for calf training, it's good for doing hack squat style training, doing additional uh, hip building squat style training. And uh, so because we got that in, I've elected to sort of limit my crazy amounts of volume on regular squats and uh, instead do them on the bear squat machine. So I'm still getting my volume with a squat movement I'm just getting it in a different way. And because there's different foot positions I can take on it, I can sort of decide how I want to target the training, more hip dominant, more quad dominant, more glute dominant, that kind of thing, just based on how I place my feet on the actual machine. And I don't necessarily have to think too much about the bar on my back because there's not a bar anymore. That being said, it was fun to work up to a decent 315 on Monday squat and deadlifts. I did three sets of two at like 285 and they were pretty okay. They didn't feel great, but they were okay. Uh, speed was meh. Grip felt okay. Everything felt okay. And then did a bunch of uh, bear squats as well. Um, like reps, sets of 20 on that. Basically, if I'm not doing a set of 20, I'm not getting underneath it. And that's how I'm treating that. Uh, just for the extra leg hypertrophy. hypertrophy. Um, it can only help. And then I also finished up Monday night with uh, some stoned shoulders. Finally was able to rep out the 160. Which is nothing too crazy impressive, but... Uh, it's a very bad movement for me, and I've got a comp coming up that has stones, so the goal is to be able to get the 200 for a few reps uh, by the end of this training cycle, so if I can get there, I'll feel pretty okay. And the reason I'm doing that is because I figure there's going to be a stone run of some kind there. We still don't quite know the events, but I figure there's going to be a stone run of some kind. And if I can get stone to shoulder 200 pounds, or even 220 stone to shoulder uh, then getting it over a bar onto a platform should be uh, should be easier. I'll put it that way. Slightly different movement, <clears throat> uh, but it's about the same. And to shoulder really helps with the uh, triple extension you you should be using in a in a stone lift. Tuesday pressing pressing went really well actually. I. Uh, did my usual jerks, and the jerks are getting a lot better looking, a lot cleaner. Uh, went up to, I believe, 165 for sets of two or three. And that's the thing about jerks. I talked about it last week. I'm trying to keep it. If the technique starts to go, I just stop doing them and just move to push pressing. Because I really want to make sure I'm, I'm working on my explosiveness with that type of movement. And the reason I'm doing that is because working on that pop dip will help me with just the regular push press because that pop, that initial pop, is going to get better by by using that movement a little bit more and more. And it's sort of proof positive because I was able to do five singles at 195 on Tuesday with, uh, with push pressing and uh, only the first rep was kind of rough. The rest of them were actually really good actually by by three Rep three, four, and five. It was actually really good. So 
Next week I plan to do a similar thing with uh, probably 190. Do it for twos or threes. We'll see what happens. We'll see how I feel. Wednesday off. Thursday squats again. The uh, recipe or the meal of the day was three sets of two with 315 and uh, asked grass, high bar. My last set was actually my best looking set and it's going a lot better. And then bear squats. Um, I don't even know what weight was on there. It was at least three, three plates on it. Um, so probably somewhere around 280, maybe 275 is what it really works out to, maybe even less. I don't know what the actual percentage drop is. I don't know. I just put three plates on it, did two sets of 20, um, which were just god-awful. But it was okay. Uh, but I deadlifted before that, actually, which was smart of me, um, and saved those for last. Deadlifts went awesome. I came up and somebody had like two, two fifteen or two thirty on the bar already, and I just came up and gripped and ripped it double overhand for like five reps, and that felt really good. Then like three hundred five was on the bar. Somebody else was using it, and I was just kind of going in when they were done with their set. Double overhand, repped that out for like five or six, felt really good. Threw on a belt, pulled three forty five double overhand. Then pulled 365 for two, double overhand. And I said, you know, my grip feels really good today. Let me see what I can get done. Uh, and then I pulled 385, which is a PR for double overhand, for a single. And I probably could have pulled it for two. And uh, probably had more in the tank. I, I probably was, I was feeling so good yesterday with the grip. I probably could have pulled 405, double overhand. But I said, no, 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 you got to quit dicking around, you know, do some real work. Pulled 400 and then went up to 425 and pulled that for two sets of two, which felt really good. Uh, speed yesterday was just awesome on deadlifts. So I felt great that, how fast they were moving. So very happy with that. And then, like I said, finished up with bear squats. Skipped the stones because I'm doing them tomorrow and uh, kind of ran out of time. Uh, so I'm just doing them tomorrow. Tonight, I decided I'm going to start doing one day of overhead pressing predominantly and one day of bench pressing, because uh, honestly, I, I, I want to start bench pressing more. Um, I always talk about how good I am at it, and how it kind of bores me after a while, just because it it doesn't take that much work for me to get good at it. And it's like, well, you know what, I've never actually even benched 315, so I've put a bit of a mini goal on myself to be able to bench 315 uh, by the end of the year, so I've got just about a month to get there, and I'm at a pretty good st starting spot um, tonight. I worked up to uh, three sets of three pause reps with 265, and they were all fine. They were all great. Even the last set, that the third rep was the only one that was even kind of like, "Oh, he might not make it," but you know, it wasn't. It wasn't. I wasn't going to die. It was. It was fine. And so um, that is a starting point. It makes me feel good. I've still got that, and that's what I mean. Like last week, I was benching on Saturday with with the boys because they just kind of talked me into it, and. Uh, I couldn't even hit 360 or 265 for one. I hit 245 for like two and it almost killed me. And then this week I'm hitting 265 for three sets of three, pausing them. So it's just like, that's what I mean by like, my body just reacts to bench pressing really well. And so, you know, I guess it's about time I proved it. Plus, bench pressing can only help my pressing power in general. So, good for a general physical preparedness, right? And odds are it'll probably help my overhead. Um, I'll probably do some overhead pressing tomorrow, too, but I'll probably stick to either log with vipers or strict pressing with a bar. We'll see what happens. And uh, do some RDLs and stuff tomorrow. And yeah, so I just benched and then did a bunch of accessory work for that. A bit of back stuff, too, because I had sort of... I hadn't done a lot for the back um, throughout the week other than some pull-ups here and there, you know, sets of like 10 pull-ups here and there in between sets of this and that. So I said, all right, let me do some low rows and lat pull downs and, and then, you know, high, high incline dumbbell press and stuff like that. Just hit the shoulders and, and so that's what I did and that was this week. And so this week actually has gone very well. This is uh, probably the worst training day I've had 
and it was actually a really good training day still. I'm just super tired. Didn't sleep well last night, which happens. And that's it. Um, got work to do tomorrow, and that'll be fine. That'll be fun. All that good stuff. So, yeah. Uh, I've decided I'm going to drop a stone video probably next Wednesday. Uh, if I have time to finish the voiceover, it will come out Wednesday. If not, I might still do it anyway. I might just finish the voiceover work on Wednesday. But I was building a pressing block. And I was going to wait to release it, but uh, I think I might release it anyway. And uh, just because, because this is a fun little video I did, and, and I do have the footage. So uh, I'm also thinking about starting and recording my pouring sessions just to do it, um, just so there's some more content coming out, and you can sort of see the process and what I'm doing and how I do it. And, um, you know, if you have questions, you can sort of leave them on the video below. Uh, on that video, and just like, hey, how come you did this, or, or what's the reason behind this and that? You know, but let me know. Uh, let me know what you think about that. If you think that's uh, something you might be interested in, or not, um, or what you would look for from those types of videos, um, it would be among. It would be along the lines of these types of videos. Not a whole lot of editing. Probably just like background music, sped up footage. Maybe a little voiceover work. It's it's not going to be anything labor intensive, because I do have another thing I'm starting next year. Uh, it's not going to take away from this channel, but it's also not going to add to this channel. It's a completely separate thing. Uh, I'll probably talk about it a little bit on here as it comes closer, but right now I'm not going to talk about it because it's not. It will not affect this channel in any way. It's just another thing I'm doing, another passion I'm going to be following. Uh, it will not affect this positively or negatively, um, but it is just something that will affect my general life a little bit more. Um, hopefully in the positive. Uh, it'll be another creative outlet for me, and uh, I'll talk about that another day. This one's getting a little long here. So as always, thank you for watching. Uh, let me know if you uh, are interested in some some sort of stone pouring videos in the uh, comments below, and uh, if you don't let me know, then what's your excuse?